Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Dalise, but you may know me as Stampin' Girl. Today I am part of the Crafty Fun Collaboration Hub. Today my crafty friends and I are undertaking a challenge. We are crafting our, our least favorite color, which in my case is purple. Yes, there are some colors that we reach all for all the time and some other ones that you barely have any supplies. And purple is the one for me. I am not even sure why I even signed up for this hop. Because this was pure torture. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy everyone's video. We will have a playlist in the description below. So I do uh, wish you guys go and check it out if you like what my friends and I are making. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And let us know what you want to see. All, all the information, it's on the description below. Um, and hopefully you enjoy my card. Uh, so you can see I started with a very, very, very light lilac. And then I use a piece of cardstock that I've had forever. And I keep using it as a template from a lawn flan that has this, um, it's a cover plate with a hill. And I use my uh, purple Marvy Yoshida ink to create that little hill. And now I'm using the oldest stencil I have in the history of stencils in my house, which is this cloud stencil. And I made a little bit of some purple clouds. And my idea originally was to use this um, Primo marketing paper that I have next to me, but You'll see me fuss around. I'm really trying to make it work, but it doesn't work at the end. I end up using this Colorbox Robin set. It's like a Valentine's Day. I'm trying to use the little popsicle stick that comes with it, and it's not working. So I bring the Big Guns, which is this metal um, basic gray tool for Robins, and that one kind of makes it go, um, which is great. I've had this grubbing for forever so it's a little bit harder to um get it working but we make it work look at this my little puppy is down and i'm using now the release paper to just making sure that i am all the the corners are nice and down uh you see me tap my fingers i have no idea where i'm going from this so i notice this is um three and three quarters so i cut it to be um, five inches and then I'm like oh okay so this could be here and I'm really trying to make it work but ugh, it's just not working it just doesn't look it's not what I'm looking for and you know what at this time now that I'm doing a the voiceover and looking at this probably was the best the best idea would have been to have gone with that Prima marketing paper um because I did struggle with this card. Um, again, purple is not my friend. That's not my favorite color. Which is funny because when I see purple cards made, I, I, I ooh and ah when other people do it. Um, so I'm thinking red. Why did I go to red? I have no idea. This card then suddenly, once I start putting it together, starts giving me the purple and red um, hat old lady kind of vibe. Uh, I bring this purple fuchsia off of it from Making Memories, which is, again, 1900 supplies. Um, and I'm still trying to figure it out what I'm doing. It's, it's, it's okay, the card, it's okay. Um, but I'm not totally feeling it. I think the red background, I really try to stick to it. And I... I shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, that's the truth of it. Um, so I'm going to start trying a different things. I will bring um, black cardstock into a matte layer, um, which I'm cutting at five and one eighth by four. And that gives me a, I believe it's a one a sixteenth of an inch all around it. And I actually like how the black border looks with the lilac panel. I really do like it because um, 
it just it just makes it pop with that pastel color. I did bring the red because the dog has the red bow and that is where everything was coming with me. Um, I have these lots of lo lots of hearts. It's um, by Mama Elephant and it's these strip of die cuts that it just cuts. Um, I believe it's two different sizes of hearts, maybe two, three, I'm not quite sure. It might be three. Ah, I can't remember. But there, it just multi cuts multiple sizes and I'm cutting them out of a red glitter paper scrap that I had. And um, I'm just throwing my hearts around and wherever they land, that's where I'm gonna glue them. And I actually like it. It's usually my, this is the easiest way. This is the least technique. <laughs> Stamp a girl's technique to set up some uh, bling. And I'm just not thinking about it, just gluing them down. I actually like that there's one like that the doggy is looking at. And I'm gonna bring some ribbon, which was a really bad idea. It was a terrible choice. Um, but I felt like it, like my card needed something at the top, so I forced that ribbon. And at the end, you'll see that um, I actually cut the ribbon off, even though after I I had it glued down. You know what? I barely ever undo things in a card because I I make it work, but that ribbon was just not working. And after I showed it to a couple of my friends, they were like, yeah, the ribbon's gotta go. And I agree, so thank you for the feedback. Um, you will see me um, come in with a few different ideas. I am gonna come in with this, by the way, this is a gatefold card. I'm going to come in with some white splatters, which was also another idea of one of my friends. And after that, you'll see me that I'm like, oh, the white splatters are better, but it's still missing something. So I decided to start hand painting white hearts all over this card. And I think that's when I actually started liking my card. See, I'm still forcing that piece of Prima marketing paper, uh, but it's not working. So this is the white ink that I'm using is the white bleed uh, from Dr. Martens. It's a paste and you add water and then you make it as thin or as thick as you want. And I don't want any splatters on my red. I only want it on my panel and I'm okay if it's in the black panel because it's so thin it's just gonna be what's gonna be um the good thing about the robin and you'll see me uh is that if while it's wet i can literally pass my finger and just rub any of these splatters from the robin and it just comes completely out so that is great i'm gonna kind of zoom in here so you can see me doing um the little hearts and how i ac actually paint them they're super easy if you ever want to add hearts to your card. This is just, try it. It's such a cute, delicate detail. They're so easy to do with a paintbrush. Like, foolproof, I, I swear you can do it, I promise. It, you can do it and they turn out super cute. After I did this, um, I was feeling so much better with this card, but I felt, and I remember one of the uh, my friends said that they would love to have seen the high in black to match the matte. And I really did like these making memory stickers that I use. But I said, you know what, maybe I can use my one of my black pens and just follow around the sticker and make like a little black frame around the high. So that's what I end up doing at the end to bring the black into a more cohesive other than just the frame. Um, and I love it. I love it. I actually end up liking this card. Um, probably, um, I don't know if red was the right color card stock, the card base to make this probably a teal or a pink or something else would have looked much better. But you know what? It is what it is. We ended up here and I actually kind of like my card. 
to be a purple, a mostly purple card, I am impressed that I was able to create a card that I like. But it wasn't without the great help and the support from my friends. Thank you so much because I really was struggling for this. And thank you everyone that um, gave me feedback for this card. I really appreciate it. You guys have no idea. I, I was close to just tossing it into the bin. And you guys know that I hardly ever toss anything into the bin and that's how frustrated I was feeling with this card. And here is my end card. Thank you so much for following me. And if you like it, just remember to subscribe and remember, don't leave your crafting for tomorrow. Start today. Bye.